Pills, teas, powders, and more. As we start the new year, for some, the effort to lose weight and get in shape is intensifying. This only months after one supplement took lives and made dozens of people sick. As KITV4's Laura Yamada shows us, health experts are sending a strong message. Well, the first, the first actual symptom was I started getting nosebleeds that I, did, I didn't know where it was coming from. And then, and then, uh, I, then I thought I had food poisoning. In October, Thad Estrada was convinced a dietary supplement called Oxy Elite Pro made him sick. Months later, there are thousands of other people who took this product, so how come we haven't heard about thousands of cases? State epidemiologist Dr. Sarah Park says they've investigated 52 cases, with 43 confirmed ties to Oxy Elite Pro. One person died, two others required liver transplants. It led to a nationwide ban of one of the hottest selling weight loss products in the market. But Park has a bigger concern. We may never know exactly what it is about that supplement, whether it's an ingredient, if there's an interaction or something that caused that. Right now, the Department of Health has ended its investigation, but begun what's called a case control study to try to find links between those who use the supplement, their health, lifestyles, and environment. When you try something like that, then you kind of rely on something else beside yourself. Anything is going to get easier, it's not. A couple of my friends hitting the gym and following this program saying so didn't. Always pay off. This month, the spotlight turned to those popular green tea supplements. National testing company Consumer Labs found some products contained unusually low levels of the additive or unusually high levels of caffeine. You hear herbal and everyone assumes it's natural, and therefore, how can natural be bad for you? Park advises people make a list and tell their doctors about everything they're taking just in case something happens to you. Laura Yamada, KITV4 News.